Hi everyone, it's Brian Waters from theCUBE. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, as part of the series of videos that we'll be doing as part of Score Relief 2022, which is our free film scoring competition with a heart, today I want to introduce you to In Place of War, the charity partner that we have for Score Relief this year, which we're raising funds for and we're grateful for all your donations. Uh, if you'd like to donate, there's a link in the description down below. But without further ado, I'll hand over to Emma from In Place of War and let her introduce herself and tell us a little bit more about the charity. Hi, Brian. Hi, everyone. Um, my name's Emma and I am the Music Industry Development Manager for In Place of War. And that very simply means that I connect In Place of War with the global music industry who support, partner and contribute to the projects that we have going on around the world. So tell us a little bit generally before we talk about the specifics of what we'll be doing with the money that we raise through Score Relief. Just tell us a little bit more about In Place of War and how they work and what type of projects and maybe the background if you want. Yeah, sure. So um, In Place of War has actually been in existence for the last 17 years uh -huh. and it started as an education research project partnered by uh, the University of Manchester. But over those years, it's really evolved and grown to become a global organisation uh, we operate in 26 countries, specifically using music, creativity and the wider arts to support and bring positive change to areas of conflict. So they might be areas affected by war or post-war, um, gang warfare, post-gang warfare, um, anything that divides uh, communities and maybe creates marginalised uh, voices that we give a platform to. Um, so yeah, we we generally work through a network of over 130 now, uh, what we call change makers. So these are grassroots individuals and um, cultural organizations across the global south, which is where we focus our work. Um, and they kind of guide and drive the work that we do. They inform us of the support that's needed. And then we offer advice and guidance about how their projects might be realized. Um, and then we partner with our global music industry advisory board and a wide network of people like high profile artists who support our work by spreading the word, raising awareness, helping us to raise funds. Um, and that's how we uh, fund those projects across the global south. Okay. All right, cool. So do those change makers come to you or do you sort of appoint them? How does that work? How does somebody become a change maker? So it's, it's kind of become a, a bit of a beast of its own now that we've been in, in existence for all these years. Um, I think that it started by us uh, as a re when we were just a research project originally, going out and finding community projects and grassroots organizations who might be relevant to the research that was being done um, at the inception of In Place of War, before it really became a charity. And over the years, um, change makers and arts organizations have found us and come to us and suggested projects that we might um, collaborate on or support. So it's very much um, a partnership operation as opposed to um, us being in any way colonial and kind of imposing our way of doing things on anybody else. Um, but of course, there are there are best practices in industry and in um, cultural and arts uh, activity and organization that we can advise on through the experts that we work with. Um, and now uh, the way that the, the network of change makers kind of grows and evolves mm -hmm. is very organic. So we'll be working with a, one organization in a particular country and perhaps somebody in another city in that same country will contact that organization and uh, be looking for help or support. Um, and then they'll join our network. So um, it's and it's a very communicative network. People are constantly um, asking each other for advice and uh, partnering on projects. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really dynamic organization to be a part of. So you, pro you provide some different forums for them to kind of exchange knowledge. Between yeah, absolutely. So we mainly focus on a few areas of um, operation and support, I guess. 
Uh, so one is entrepreneurial education based on the arts. So that's where we will, obviously things have changed very much over the last couple of years. Everything has gone digital and online, but that, that really helps um, us to reach a wider network of communities across the global south um, who can benefit from our entrepreneurial training programs. Um, and what we will do is we will work with the grassroots community and we will train um, educators and mentors within those communities to then uh, train and educate their peers. So it's very much a peer to peer situation. Um, we also uh, build and create cultural or creative spaces uh, for those organizations. So that might be um, music studios, recording studios, for example, which might sound a very uh, removed reality from uh, what people might think of as a grassroots community in the global south. Yeah. But we've had people who've been um, part of the organizations that we partner with who've, who've told us literally things like music has saved my life. Hip hop, for example, is one of the areas that we work in very closely. Um, and one of our change makers literally said hip hop has saved my life. Yeah. And that can feel like a really abstract thing, but if we think about the universal power of music to transform our own lives in mm. the privileged global north, then it's not a very uh, distant leap to imagine the impact that it can have in terms of expression of emotions, um, bringing communities together that may otherwise be fractured through conflict. Yeah. Um, it's so healing. Sure, sure. Okay, great. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, more specifically. So, I mean, this isn't the first time we've spoken. <clears throat> it's not the first time we've tried to record an interview. Um, so let's talk more specifically, because we've kind of homed in a little bit, haven't we, on how the money from uh, Score Relief will actually be used. Do you want to... Guess yeah, it. absolutely. So we're really, really excited about this, this partnership with School Relief because we see so many areas of resonance and alignment between the QTube and School Relief community, global community of incredible artists um, and the communities that we support around the world. Yeah. Um, and the specific program that we are asking for support and funds to um, to basically enable this program to be able to happen, it is that basic, mm -hmm. is our music education program, which is launching this year. It's a brand new initiative for us and it's called Hack Music. Now, everybody probably watching this video will be familiar with the term, you know, hack or life hacks or whatever, whatever kind of hacks it might be. Tips and um, pieces of information that help to open up an area for for people who are kind of interested or who need to learn about that for their for their livelihood. Yeah. And so Hack Music is an in place of war initiative that will bring together our network of um, music industry professionals, executives, artists around the world from grassroots to the highest profile to record and deliver videos of instructive material that will help um, music communities and artists around the world to hack into the world of music mm -hmm. as a realistic tangible career that can change their life so that they can make money from their art mm -hmm. which is basically what the youtube community is all about the score relief community is all about too so it's very much um something that we feel is a really good fit Mm -hmm. um, on a on a kind of human to human level, because everybody entering school relief or just supporting the school relief cause, because I understand that there will be people who might be donating, which would be hugely appreciated, who aren't necessarily entering the competition themselves, yeah. Yeah. but they will also believe in um, the need to make music and the music industry, or let's say the the infrastructure of the music world. To make that more accessible mm -hmm. because we're very privileged in the west or the global north with all the access to information that we have and the access to um, maybe traditional uh, courses education courses around music 
Mm-hmm. Um, but that's not necessarily the case in some of the communities that we support. Mm-hmm. So um, what we will be creating is an archive of educational material and a mentoring program so that um, artists around the world who join the Hack Music program get access to the kind of mentors that they could never possibly have a connection with in the kind of real world, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. We're bringing those two worlds together. Great. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Well, you know, one of the things that I love about this, you know, relationship uh, between the QTube and In Place of War is this ability that we're going to have to sort of know where the money's going and, uh, you know, have updates and uh, sort of, you know, continue to tell the story through the next yeah. 12 months and beyond. Um, yeah, absolutely. So it's not just a case of scorely finishes, we hand the money over and end of story we're actually going to be able to continue that dialogue and 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 see the impact it has so i think that's, yeah. i think that's really nice yeah it's really exciting for us to be partnering with school relief and the youtube at the beginning of the evolution of hack music as a program because yeah. it's going to be a really close partnership obviously it's a it's a fundraising initiative at this point but you know there may be composers in your com- in your community who would like to take part in the mentoring aspect of of the initiative it can be a really hands on yeah. um collaboration so yeah very very excited to see how we, we will update people on where the money is going um and what a difference they've made directly which is quite powerful brilliant yeah i mean as as you say there might be other tie ups with actual individuals as well as money you know the yeah. connections from between the two communities if you like yeah absolutely and artistic collaboration is one of our key kind of pillars if you like that is something that drives a lot of our work and something that um it's a it, it kind of underlies a lot of the work that we do and, and our work and our projects wouldn't be possible without artistic collaboration so we are all for that so bring it on if that's possible okay cool well we'll put this together in a little video so people know what the charity and what the relationship is all about and um you know perhaps if anyone has questions they can put them in the comments down below and uh Right. You know, we maybe we'll do a live Q and A at some point if there's enough. If there seem to be a lot of questions, sure. Uh, but yeah, you know, thank you for that, Emma. That's a really good and succinct and informative uh, overview, and uh, I'm sure people will be interested to know that. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, fingers crossed that we can hand over a nice check at the end. <laughs> thank you so much. We're really excited to be part of School Relief this year. Great. Thanks, Emma. Take care. Happy New Year. And to you. uh, Have a great day. Thanks for that, Emma. I'm sure you'll agree that In Place of War are a great partner for us to be with on Score Relief 2022. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they use the money and to continue the dialogue with them through the year to kind of get feedback and to see how those projects come along. So once again, thanks for listening. Thanks for your support of our fundraiser and participation in the scoring contest. Uh, There's still plenty of time left, so I wish everybody the best of luck with their compositions. I hope you're having fun and um, I look forward to hearing more of your entries as they come in. So take care, everyone. Have a great evening or morning or day or whatever it is where you are. Uh, Take care and speak to you soon. Bye for now.